This is a short animation to explain the filtering process of the presented modular and robust framework compared to the classical approach. The upper segment shows the current process and buffer access for the modular version, and the segment on the bottom shows the same steps for the classical approach. The classical buffer only stores the full state, while the modular buffer stores a multitude of information such as the core states, state transition matrices of the propagation steps, sensor states, and metadata. The buffer also stores measurements, which are not shown for simplicity. We are using two sensors. Sensor 1 is a pose sensor that introduces six additional states, and sensor 2 is a loosely coupled vision sensor that introduces 13 additional states. The sequence starts with the initialization of the filter, which is triggered by an IMU measurement. This initializes only the core states and the 15 by 15 covariance matrix of the modular filter, and the full 34 by 34 covariance matrix for the classical approach and stores it in the buffer. The modular approach essentially has no knowledge about additional sensors at this point. The next step introduces a measurement of sensor 1. This requires the latest core state from the buffer for the initialization of the additional states of sensor 1. The core and sensor states are stored in the buffer after the update. Since all states of the classical approach have been initialized during the first step, the introduction of a measurement by sensor 1 produces an update which corrects all states and updates the complete 34 by 34 covariance matrix, which requires more computational performance because the size of the covariance matrix is higher. Now we are performing four propagation steps. The modular approach only requires the latest core state to propagate the core state and covariance. The core state is stored together with the state transition matrix that has been used for the propagation. The classical approach performs the propagation which affects the core states and the full covariance matrix, which again requires more mathematical operations. The next step introduces a measurement of sensor 2, which is performed the same way as it was done for sensor 1. Again, the introduction of a measurement for sensor 2 performs a full state and covariance update for the classical approach. Now we introduce four additional propagation steps in the same way we did before. At this point, we are introducing another measurement for sensor 1. Since the covariance of sensor 1 has not been altered after the initialization and has not been propagated, we have to fetch the state transition matrices between the last information of sensor 1 and the current state. The generated state transition block matrix is used to propagate the cross-correlation terms for the core and sensor terms. A modular update with a 21 by 21 covariance matrix is performed after the cross-correlation terms have been propagated. The update is performed by the sensor module and can be performed as for the normal EKF approach. This is also the point at which statistical tests for outlier rejection can be applied. The measurement of sensor 1 results in a full state and covariance update with a 34 by 34 covariance matrix for the classical approach. We are introducing four additional propagation steps before we add another update of sensor 2. The update of sensor 2 for the classical filter is again straightforward and requires the processing of the full 34 by 34 covariance matrix. However, this is the first update that requires the eigenvalue correction for the modular approach. The reason why the correction is needed is that we performed a joint update of the core and sensor 1, which interrupted the continuity of the covariance segments between the core and sensor 2. A joint covariance of the latest core entry and sensor 2 would be ill-conditioned. First, we need to fetch the state transition matrix block to propagate the latest cross covariance of sensor 2. This covariance is joined with the latest core covariance. Now we are applying the eigenvalue correction to gain an approximated and valid covariance. This 28 by 28 covariance matrix is used for the update of sensor 2. After the update, the core state and sensor states are stored in the buffer. This completes the sequence of initializing the core, initializing individual sensor states, updates of different sensors, and one covariance correction for the last update of sensor 2. Please note that the core of the modular approach does not require any knowledge about the introduced sensors, which renders the modular approach highly flexible. 